In other news, today marked International Water Day, and so to celebrate, we sent our very own ILTV crew to the south to see how Israel, despite being an arid country, succeeds in thriving with water, especially in the south, which is made mostly of desert terrain. And we went together with the JNF USA, who, as part of their work, regularly helps these miraculous places. Lauren Izzo with the report. It makes up more than 70% of the earth and 60% of our bodies. But what happens when water is nearly impossible to come by? Here in Israel, more than half the land area is made up of dry, arid desert. That's why we've had to come up with creative solutions to stay hydrated. Israel is home to some of the most advanced and innovative solutions in water conservation technology. Today, Israel recycles about 85% of its water, the highest in the world, and 50% of the water used for agriculture is a product of recycling. The Halutza communities, once a dry and barren desert, are the embodiment of modern-day pioneering, supported by philanthropic movements like Jewish National Fund USA. We are using the NFT as a hydroponics. It's, it's built with a, t a tunnel that you grow inside the greens. It saves water and a, it gives you a advanced growing. Their investment in cutting edge water solutions like hydroponic farming has helped Chalutza thrive as one of the most successful agricultural communities in the Negev, allowing them to grow exceptional crops that are sold throughout the world. We may be standing in the middle of the desert, but by looking around, you'd never know it. East of Chalutza, in Beersheva, the city landscape has been completely transformed into a water city in the Negev desert after a world-class $300 million urban revitalization initiative, also supported by Jewish National Fund USA. Welcome to the biggest lake uh, in Israel, here in Beersheva. Um, you know, the city of Beersheva, the capital city of the Negev, the metropolis city for over a million residents that live here in the area. If you would have told us 10 or 15 years ago that this would happen, nobody would have believed it. I'm a Beersheva, born and raised here, and having this oasis changes the entire experience of actually living here in the Negev. And it all comes down to this, water recycling. This is the Ramat Aviv Water Treatment Center. This one specifically strengthens the development of sustainable communities in the desert and near the Egyptian border. We are at the facilities of the Ramat Negev uh, water treatment plant, treating effluents, municipal effluents, from the military camps surrounding us and uh, the villages. Hopefully in the very near future, we shall accommodate much more water effluents coming from other uh, nearby uh, regions. We need the water here. JNF USA has made it their mission to support Israel's effort to create advanced technology for sustainability and become a global leader in water innovation. The advances in water technology and ecology in Israel have increased the country's water economy by over 15 percent, and that number is only increasing. Two decades ago, Israel was dealing with water shortage and droughts, and as part of Jewish National Fund USA's mission to help develop the Negev and Galilee and Israel, water was such a crucial, essential part of our investment. And working together with so many different communities and organizations and researchers and businesses in order to be able to create opportunities to build life here in the Negev, to build life in the north, to be able to create something out of nothing, it all starts with the water. So for us at Jewish National Fund USA, World Water Day is a time where we celebrate and rejoice how far we've come from Israel being a country that was dealing with drought to now recycling over 85% of all of our wastewater. The value of water is about so much more than just its price. Its importance is undeniable to every country, community, and individual around the world. Lauren Izzo, ILTV.